card. But you need to get one. It's pretty important. Also, I don't know how you start the timer, but timing starts as soon as you select the first mission. I don't know if that's where you start your timer or not. I need to change where the chat is on this screen because I have to like look way over here to read it. Normally it's not a problem, but uh, but I'm playing on my TV, which is here. I'm normally playing on my monitor, which is right here. So I need to move my chat accordingly so I don't have to look way over here to see chat. Also, be sure to wall strafe like this. This is much faster than just moving forward like this at a 45 degree angle. This is really fast. Like, look at this. You jump and everything while you're doing it. <laughs> yeah, uh, as soon as this mission's over, once I'm at the auto scroller, uh, dude, then I'm gonna move my chat but I've been practicing this game for like like two weeks like every day I've been playing for like two hours a day for like two weeks and I haven't done a run since uh since I got my 55 which was like my first run with no practice hopefully I should be able to get like Sub 50. You've got to get on that submarine, What's crazy is that I have version 1.0 with the explosion boosting, but I don't go for it. Because it's a crazy hard trick that uh, saves some time, but not as much. Oh, I'm going to die. Don't kill me. This might be gold. Aw, oh, it was close. Uh, I think one more second and I would have, uh, I would have probably had it. All right, I'm gonna move my chat during the loading screen. And my split. All right. We good. Click on that. Be sure to kill this chopper as soon as you can, or else uh, he shoots these rockets and Zoe tries to dodge them, which is slow. You waste a lot of time by doing that. Oh, I forgot about this guy. Aim link. Oh, that was bad. Really? Alright. It doesn't lose any time, though, to miss all those shots. Ooh. She just barely dodged that. See, look at this. I'm in the oncoming lane. Like. Yeah, all the small stuff is how you save time. That's, uh. They add up, I'm telling you. Or I would really encourage you to watch Alex run, cause uh, <laughs> did you see that? It's uh, this limo just ran into the other one and blew it up. But anyway, I'd recommend watching uh, Alex run. Try to watch the one with uh, with the commentary, like the live version, because he was doing commentary on that run. Because uh, I was actually watching him live when he got the world record. And uh, this was like when I first started running this game. Uh, so he was like explaining all of the tricks uh, in the world record video, in the commentated version. So just try to watch the live version. And... Uh, and he explains like, oh, you need to stand right here and use the grapple over here or whatever. Like he was talking about all that stuff. 
This is the guy that back boosted me, by the way. He like slammed into me. It might be on his YouTube channel. I think it is on his YouTube channel. But if not, it should be a highlight on his Twitch. So check that out. Uh, you know, whenever you can. Pretty much everything I know is because Alec told me. <laughs> I don't know anything besides what Alec told me. What? So shoot these guys first, then shoot that, then shoot that. And that saves the most time. Or I think you shoot the, the SUV first, and then the chopper. The cho Shoot the chopper last, actually. Because it doesn't matter if that's dead or not. So shoot the two blue limos on the left first, because that's what dictates whether you go or not, whether those guys are dead. Then shoot the, the armored SUV, then shoot the chopper. Or shoot the, like, the gas station behind the SUV, and it'll blow it up. That's the end of this mission. It sucks you can't skip this cutscene. Head to the dock, Zoe. We'll get my car. Thought you'd never ask. You can skip that cutscene though. Nice. Save time. I don't really like this level that much. This level's okay, but I don't know. There are better levels. This level lags a lot, actually. I missed the pulse. Okay, so I get one shot. I get one shot at this, and if I mess it up, then it's a reset. Normally I try to get that other pulse so that I'll have two tries. Use the boost here, get out the pulse, go over here, cut this corner. Alright, I'm going to play it safe. Quit right there to save time. I lost a little bit of time. I wonder how I lost time. Like, what I did wrong. Because I felt like maybe I just hit more stuff. I don't know. Jump up these stairs. Make sure you shoot that guy. I saw the alarm was going off when you were playing. Oh. Oh, does it, Born? That's interesting. I didn't know that. I think if you're slow, there's another guy that can see you. That, like... Oh, wait, what? Oh, I forgot. All right. You gotta hit the button, not the... Not the door. See, I hit the door there, but shoot this guy, shoot this guy. See, this guy sees you. There's a guy that was behind me, but he can't set the alarm fast enough to see that I completed the mission. Hey, Unready, what's up, man? Ooh, what did I get? 
for a gold medal on that level, you get the golden accuracy, which makes your guns more accurate. Which is obviously good. Do the backwards jump there, because it's a little bit faster. Oh, crap. I'm, I messed up there. Run past these guys, wall surf here, or wall strafe, whatever it's called. I'm gonna kill one of these guys here. Pick up that gun. Pick up that gun. You don't have to do that though. The reason I'm picking up this gun is to make killing some of the other bad guys a little bit easier. Yeah, I don't really like this level that much. This is okay. But, um, uh, I just have a lot of problems with this level. Get out the, uh, Q remote while you're running through all these guys. Get out the gun. This is like an MP5 or something, I don't know. Jump over this, go around there. This part lags really bad. Get out the shotgun. Jump over that. If you get shot in the back while you're going up there, it saves a little bit of time because you get back boosted. It's kind of like Goldeneye. Shoot this guy. Shoot this guy. That should kill him, but it didn't that time. Kill this guy. I don't go for the the cable jump. Uh, you can get the cable jump though, and uh. Save a little bit of time there. Ooh, that time save though. Now this level. Oh man, this level. I don't like this level at all. This is probably. I don't know if this is my least favorite level. I don't know. I'm just not good at this level. The jackal fight. Rescuing the hostages. Man, I'm, I'm not good at any of that. Hold on, Born. Give me a second. I'll read your message in just a second. Get out the grapple here. You can actually move forward right here while you're grappling, which is really weird. Get out the AK while you're like moving through here. Or the, the KA as the game calls it. Wait here for him to come out here. Shoot him in the face. Pick up his gun. Shoot this guy in the face. Conserve your ammo in this part. Shoot this guy in the face. Shoot this guy in the face. Shoot this guy in the face. Conserve your ammo. Because you're going to need it for the jackal fight. Alright, that was not conserving ammo. Kill this guy, kill this guy. Run here, wall surf here. I keep calling it wall surfing, but it's actually wall strafing. It is the proper name for it. So I'm going to use this gun the whole time. I think I might still have some rounds of my AK left. You can explode that next to her to kill her a little bit faster. Keep shooting her in the face. Get out the sniper. Now, I don't actually know the setup for this. I think it's something like this. <sighs> I think this is the setup. <gasps> what? 
What? Okay. I was about to get a little frustrated right there. Even more time save. That wasn't even a good jackal or knight of the jackal. <sighs> now this level. I like this level a lot, but I am just awful at this level. I don't like I don't know anything about this level. I need to practice this level for like three hours. Cause I know nothing about it. I know I think I know the optimal route, but that's the thing, I think I know it. But I don't really, like, know that I know it. Oh my. I'm going so slow. Ooh. Cut that corner a little close. Oh, this van, though. I'm out of rockets. <laughs> That's not good. Oh, I have Q slicks too. Q slicks are really good. If you can get in front of this guy, just get him off your back. I think. Yeah. So they're not following me anymore. The flashing beacon on your GPS map indicates the position of the locator 007. Get more Q slicks. Here's why I get these Q slicks right here. And it doesn't waste any time, as far as I know. Get that thing. Pick up the rockets, because I need those. Use the Q-slicks right there. So that van can't chase me anymore. Or the SUV, or whatever it's called. Oh, I thought that was going to hit a civilian. I think I'm going the optimal route, but I don't know for sure. So this, I've seen people like slow down right here. I don't know why, because what I just did right there is pretty fast. I see people like slow down and hit the, the edge of the bridge so it respawns you up there. I don't know why people do that. Maybe it's faster, but... I don't feel like it is. It's actually possible to fail that jump, but you won't fail the mission, it just respawns you up there. Select Q booster and use it like right here is good. Yeah, I don't know either, Born. This that's what Alec does, so I assume it's faster. If if Alec does it, it has to be faster, right? I mean, it must be. Come on. All right. Kill that guy on the left cuz I think that's faster. Oh no, I'm thinking of a different part. So this is mostly an auto scroller. It's like there's not much to say about this part of the level. Yeah, there's not much to say here. There are a few time saves though. There are a few. Like I think it's actually a little tiny bit faster to kill this red SUV right here quickly to kill it quickly. Yeah, you see how I slowed down right there? I think you don't slow down if you kill that SUV fast. And right here, I failed that time save.
All right, born. Oh, you can turn around there to reduce lag. I forgot to do that. The great thing about this auto scroller, though, compared to uh, what is it called? Trouble, not Trouble in Paradise, Dangerous Pursuit, is that you can't slow down. So even if you hit cars, you don't slow down, which is just great. So you're always going at, you know, the same speed every time. Yo, I can't aim down. I think it's about the same, Born, considering that it's like the same scenario each time for both games. You know, it's the same level, pretty much. It's it's the same level. I, I think they are, in terms of how bad they are, I think they're both the same. And see, we had to use those night vision goggles because it was so dark, but look at the level now. It's like super bright. All right, let's see if I can get this really good time save. missed it I was I was aiming too high up <sighs> I was aiming too high if I would have aimed a little bit lower I think I would have got it <sighs> all right nice Still save time. Fire and water. This is my favorite level. I know that sounds really crazy, but this is my favorite level. It's just great. I love it. There's so many cool like skips and stuff you can do. Just run past this guy. He's going to sound the alarm, but it doesn't matter. If you're fast enough, this guy's going to get in your way. Somet I think he does. I don't think there's a way around him. Just go down here. Land on this box. Yeah. Easy every time. Oh, I make the tough jump and then I mess up the easy jump. Alright. We're still in this, though. This gun, the Calypso, is like... It's like the best gun ever. It's like a freaking nail gun, just like constantly shooting. It's just amazing.
Is that right? Oh, no. That's not right either. That's it, right there. Don't fall down, don't fall down. Dang it. We still got this, though. You can just... It's faster to go back up here than to just die. But I gotta worry about these guys, like, shooting at me. Alright. That's it right there. Please don't die this time. Alright. Oh, I thought that wasn't going to make it. I'm like really focused right now. Dude, this game is lagging so much right now. Alright. We got this, though. Wait for these guys. Grenade. Boom. Kill them both. Go up here. Hopefully I don't die. Okay. Nice, that's mission complete. Oh, dude, look at the time save. Oh, a minute and one second. I would have saved so much more time if I wouldn't have messed up the grapple part. See, Born, I was like, whenever you were telling me you were messing up the grapple part, I was like, ow, that's like the easiest part. And then I started playing on a CRT, and you can't see crap in this in fire and water on a CRT. Everything's just blurry. But on on an emulator, it's like crystal clear. But uh, uh, I can understand now why you were having trouble with that. The um, coming from the actual console, it's the quality's not as good, so it's harder to see like exactly where you're lined up at welcome back Nikika another dog that's a really good idea I like dogs oh alright I am gonna focus a little bit cuz uh I do want to get a good run going. I should be able to save like a minute here. Uh, that's assuming that I get everything right. I think my PB had a three cycle. You know, at the end. So my PB had a three cycle. So I should, if I can get a one or a two cycle, then I should save time. Getting a one cycle at the end, though, is really, really tough. But it is possible. I have done it before. I saw that, Born. That was, like, right before I left. Yeah, this mission, I like this mission a lot, but... It's easy to lose time if you, uh, if you mess up. You know. Oh yeah, the PS2. That's like even blurrier. I think the PS2 version has a lower resolution as well, so it, it looks even worse. This game looks pretty good though for the time. But uh... But yeah, it's uh the resolution's pretty low.
Kuwait. Kill all of these guys. I don't know what to do, like, to save time on this part. Like, even after you kill all the guys, you still gotta wait for this. I'm not sure what to do right there to make that part faster. Oh, really? Now, I forgot about that. Yeah, I think there's a certain spot that you can shoot at that will just always blow it up in one hit, but I don't know where that's at. But I actually forgot about that. Don't waste any of your bullets on it. Just, like, just tap shot right here so he doesn't shoot you. Reload. Then he's going to start dropping mines. So try to shoot those, you know. Not much to say right here. Kill these three guys as fast as you can. Come on, let's go, boss. And shoot, shoot, shoot. Please get a one cycle. Yes! I got a one cycle. Nice. That's awesome. That saves so much time. time to die. Shoot this guy a bunch so he drops the rocket launcher. There you go, you get the early rocket launcher if you if you do that. You get the one cycle. Kill these three guys as quickly as you can. And then this opens up. Dude, unready. It's like the best DVD player. It lasts so long. Oh. So one tip you can use is press R before it actually collides with the whatever those things are. Oh my god, dude, I couldn't aim up. It wouldn't let me. So press R right there. And pressing R blows up the rockets before, like, you know, you can blow up the rockets anytime by pressing R. And as long as the explosion radius is within, like, is close enough to uh, those things, whatever they are, uh, they'll blow up. So you can blow them up early, like that. Where's the vent? Go here, go there. Let 
then go left here. <laughs> nice angle there. All right. Oh, I forgot about this guy. All right. Did I kill that guy? No, I didn't. So this part's really awesome. For some reason, for whatever reason, you can activate these things from as far away as you want. Nice, that was pretty good. It's kind of specific though, but uh, but getting those quickly is really good. Getting around that guy. Oh, I should be able to save quite a bit of time here. Shoot this guy. Shoot this guy. Press the button. I'm going to try not to get sniped here, but I'm going to grab the armor for safety. I don't want to lose this beautiful run. Please don't lose this beautiful run. Alright. Ooh, the time save. Shoot, if this is a deathless run, I can use in-game time. Then I'll have third place by default. Ooh, that was a little sloppy. Just run past all these guys. There's some armor over here that I can grab. That way I don't get, like, ultra wrecked in this section. Oh crap. Jump up the stairs, because that's faster. This part sucks, I'll tell you. This is, uh, this part's awful. You gotta, like, grapple. I got really, well, I don't want to say lucky, but, uh, that part doesn't normally go that well. Ooh. That was kind of sloppy. Killed this guy. Killed this guy. Oh, let me get this armor. For safety. That didn't kill him. That didn't kill him either. Dude, these guys must take two shots. So having a shotgun here is really good if you kept all that ammo. They got your American friend. Some rough looking chaps are holding her below in the depth. I'll open the door to the landing so you can get back here. So aim down right here because we're going to shoot this guy in the, the head right here. 
Oh, I missed that. All right, that's fine. I think I can just drop down like this. Yeah. Pick up that armor. Kill this guy. Grab the gun, please. That's a time loss right there. That's good. Okay. All right. The real leaders of the free world are being held captive somewhere in Malfoy's headquarters. You must see that they do not come to harm. Good luck. Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. All right. We good. Yeah, that time save. I actually died and got lost in that level in my PB. Like, I couldn't figure out where I was going. You can skip these first guys right here by just doing that. I have the... Let me get that. Alright. That was really good. I'll just kill these guys just for safety. Oh, that's the wrong way. Here's what I do just to make this part a little easier. I just blow that up and... Oh, I shot her though. That's fine. It wastes a little bit of time to do that, but it's just so much easier. It's a little bit more risky, though, because I didn't notice until just now. You can actually shoot the German Chancellor, or whatever they're called. Oh my god, really? I'm going to hold on to that? Oh my god. Alright. We can still recover from that. That jump saves a little bit of time. I'll grab that armor for safety. Phone going off. All right. Uh-oh, dropping frames. Good work, 007. What? That cutscene started so late. That, that should have started way earlier. Alright, so... I think I'm on pretty good pace here, actually. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Please don't kill me. Don't shoot, please. Don't shoot. That was bad. <sighs> I'm actually pretty nervous. I'll, uh... Let's see. 
45-30. First attempt. Third place. That's pretty good. I, I like that time. Oh, but I'm, I think I'm about to drop frames, though. Yeah, pretty much every split except for these first three were golds. I like that. I'm proud of that. 341. I can uh, add up the in-game time. 